Welcome to a demonstration of New Voice Media's Contact World for Sales and Marketing. I'm a sales rep with Best Tech, a supplier of high-tech equipment to the audiovisual industry. Now, in a previous demo, we've already seen how we can make calls, dialing perhaps from a lead, by clicking to dial. We can do that off any object, so leads, contacts, accounts, opportunities, and so on. And that's okay. We've also seen how we can dial from views. So this is a view of my Amplifiers campaign on the lead object. And I can dial from here too, one by one. Although, to be honest, I can't see a lot of information about these individual people when I do that. Now this quarter, we've really got some numbers to hit and we need to increase our dial rate. So we're gonna take a look at the dialer that we use from New Voice Media. Now this dialer is unlike any other dialers that I've used because it's all in Salesforce. So we build our lists in Salesforce, we make the calls using the dialer from Salesforce and we can see the results here too. The dialer can work in two different ways, manual mode and automatic. And the best way to do that is to actually show you. This list is in manual mode and I begin by clicking to begin dialing. first thing that happens is the person at the top of the list, in this case Cody, pops out right in front of me. I can take a look at Cody's details, see where he comes from and what other interactions we've had with him already. When I'm ready, I click Dial. New Voice Media dials my phone, I pick up and we dial Cody. We're connected as soon as the Recording Not Available button changes to Pause. Hey Cody, it's Harry from Best Tech, how are you? We can have a conversation. During that conversation, I can take some notes. I can set a disposition code. For example, Cody says, yep, that's great, send me the documentation. When we're done, I say thanks a lot, bye, and release the call. I'm now ready to look at my next lead in line. The next one's Charlie. You see his details have popped right up too. I can pause. Take a look at Charlie's details, everything we know about him. When I'm ready to go, I can click Dial. Once again, my phone rings, I pick up. New Voice Media is calling Charlie's phone. He picks up. Hey Charlie, it's Harry, how are you? And so on. I can take even more notes. Very simple to do. Set my action, perhaps he says, contact me tomorrow. When I'm done, I say bye and release the call. When I'm finished, I can simply take a break. That pulls me back to my master dial list, if you like, where it shows me I've got three people left on the list and there are two people who we've already called and the results of those calls. If I didn't want to call someone, I can just skip that call. Now this mode, manual mode, is really suitable if I'm doing a little bit of thinking first before I make the call. Maybe I need to do some investigation, but I need my work organizing. There's another way of organizing dial lists, however, when I need to work more quickly. The other way is automatic mode. And that's really suitable if maybe we went to a trade show, we scanned a lot of people, and the message is going to be the same to all of them. Thanks for coming to our show. What did you think? What I'd like to do now is to show you how to build one of those dial lists because it's really straightforward to do. Just to avoid confusion, I'm going to edit my existing dial list and just set it inactive for a while while I build another list. We'll start by going to the Leads tab, but we could do this off Contacts, Accounts, Opportunities, or in fact any object in Salesforce that's got a phone field. So here I am on Leads. I'm going to click Go. These are the five people, the same five people in this example, of course, who I would like to include in my automatic dial list. And in reality, perhaps there might be a few hundred of these. So I can simply select them all, or I could change the filter conditions on my view so that it's selected just the right people. Let's create a dial list. I'm gonna call this my dial list, let's say test one. I'll click next. I can sort the leads on the list and we happen to use Marketo for lead scoring, and I'd rather call the leads with the highest score first. 
The system integrates just as well with other marketing automation tools than you might use, for example, Eloqua. I could sort with more fields than that if I wanted to, but that's just fine for now. I'm nearly done. Let's just edit the list. But this time, we'll put it into automatic mode. We'll set it active. And we'll give some guidance notes. Maybe the list is for me, but maybe it's actually for somebody else on the team. And I need to tell them, well, here's what you need to say when you place the calls. Now notice that everybody in the list is assigned to me. We can have teams of people on Dialist, however. So I think I'll add Bob to my list here and click Save. Now we've had an equal division of those leads between Bob and me. Actually, I don't want to um, bother Bob today with that. So let's pull Bob back off. So I can put more than one person on a list and I can belong to more than one list myself. We're nearly good to go. Let's go back to our dialer tab again. And here we are now with our dial list test one. This is an automatic list. So it works a little bit faster than the manual mode. Let's click to get started. As soon as we do that, Cody's details pops up. My phone rings. I pick up. Cody's phone's ringing. He picks up. Hey, Cody, it's Harry. How are you? And so on. We have a chat. Maybe he didn't answer. And I can um, take that as a no answer, perhaps. Or maybe I left a voicemail. Oh, and by the way, when I leave voicemails, I really like to personalize those. I like to say, hi, Cody. It's Harry. Thanks for coming to the event last week, and so on. I'm done. No comments in this case. I'm done. And I click Next. Straight away, Charlie's details pop up. I go busy outbound. My phone rings and I pick up. I'm ready to go. Hi, Charlie. It's Harry. How are you? Let's show you how quickly we can work this. Let's release that. Go for the next person in the list. It's Mary. My phone's ringing. Pick up. Hi, Mary at Westminster Software. It's Harry from Best Tech. How are you? And so on. Let's release that. And now take a break. I'd like to show you one other way of using dial lists that's pretty useful too. Now, people come to our website and they fill out a Salesforce web to lead form. And if they're kind enough to leave a number, boy, are they hot leads. And we need to follow them up really quickly. So we have a dial list set up. It's the hot web lead dial list. And this is where those leads end up. This is an active dial list. And what that means is it was created so that as the filter criteria are met by additional leads in this case, they appear right on this list. Let's pull up a web page with a lead form on it. Now on this lead form, I've already filled in some details for Jeremy. And we're sorting in our active dial list on number of employees. And I want to put a large number in just to show you how new leads perhaps can make the top of the list. We'll hit refresh list and we'll see what happens. And there we can see our new lead, Jeremy Pinsent, is now at the top of the list and he's been assigned to Bob. The very next call Bob makes while he's using the dialer will be to Jeremy. There we have a really simple way for making a large number of calls in a short space of time. It's easy to build lists. I do them right off Salesforce. The lists are run from Salesforce in two modes, either manual mode, because I need to think perhaps before each call, everyone is a little different, or automatic mode where the message is really the same. This is something that I use, in fact, myself for about an hour a day just to get through a lot of the standard calls that I need to make. Thanks very much for watching.